President, the fine Senator from Georgia for the recognition. Uh, look, I've been listening uh, to the debate here or the conversation, however you want to say it, on the floor for the last hour and a half about Tracy Stone Manning. Uh, and I will tell you that I take advice and consent that the United States Senate has and the members of this body have very seriously. And that means not just picking up talking points that the leadership might give you and reciting them back on the floor time and time and time again, which, by the way, I heard the same talking points time and time and time again for the last hour and a half. But it's to find out what's going on with this person, because it's our duty to make sure that there's good people in these agencies. I wish we'd have taken that same kind of thought with some of the folks that President Trump put forth. But it seems though the rules have changed. And now we're going to take a good woman, a good woman who the state of Montana knows well, who in fact was vetted in the state of Montana, and they said all these accusations have no merit. And we're going to run her through the ringer here. Character assassination like I've never seen before. But let's be honest. What is this really about? Is this about Tracy Stone Manning? No, this is about the Republicans in the Senate trying to make Joe Biden look bad. That's what this is about. Make no mistake about it. That's what this is about. So let's get back to the issue at hand. And that is the person that's been nominated to run the BLM, Tracy Stone Manning. Somebody that I've known for the last 25 years. Somebody that I've worked with for the last 20 years. Somebody that when they were on my staff, worked with the wood products industry, worked with recreation folks, worked with everybody out there to write a bill on how we could better manage our national forests with Montana input. She is somebody that lives by the statement, you have two ears and one mouth, act accordingly. She is somebody that knows the value of collaboration. She is somebody that can listen, that can reason, that knows our public lands, has recreated on our public lands for her entire life. And she's somebody that will run the BLM in a hell of a lot better way than this dude by the name of Penley, who sat in that office unconfirmed for months after months after months in the, previous, in the previous administration, and nobody on the Republican side of the aisle said a thing about him. Somebody who wanted to sell off our public lands. Somebody who really didn't care about access to it. But we have a person today that we can confirm that can once again make the BLM the agency it needs to be. Somebody who understands multiple use. Somebody who understands that the BLM needs to be run by a professional. Tracy Stone Manning is a professional. I would encourage everybody to vote for her. Thank you, Mr. President.